Hello Atlanta, welcome to another edition of All Around Atlanta. I'm Joe Somerville and I'll be your host and tour guide today. We're starting the show in Hall County, Gainesville, Georgia, my adopted hometown at one of my favorite restaurants, Two Dog Restaurant. Then we're gonna head to Rick's Smoking Pig Barbecue for some of the best ribs you could ever want. Then down the highway towards Atlanta, we're gonna stop at Lawrenceville first. We're gonna go to Locos Grilling Pub then we're gonna head off to Matteo's Pizza Joint at Toco Plaza, then to Menchie's Frozen Yogurt, then down towards the airport, East Point, we're gonna be visiting Giovanna's Italian Kitchen. And after that, we're gonna to head to Johnny's Hideaway, a Buckhead landmark. And then we're gonna stop by the Horseradish Grill right across from Chastain Park and pay a visit to Josh Alterman and see what the Horseradish Grill is up to these days. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Please tell our restaurants you saw them on TV. What we have here are house-made crab cakes with remoulade sauce. What we have here are locally grown blue lake green beans, tempura battered and fried, served with a black pepper parmesan mayo. This is a stuffed portobello mushroom. It is stuffed with parmesan, feta, white cheddar, and our bread crumbs served in our own marinara sauce and baked. Service is great. Beverly, Melissa, Melanie, Tina, Tim, everybody's great here. The reason I come from the Two Dog is because it's the best place I know to eat in Gainesville. This is our um, house-made chocolate cream pie. This is our peanut butter pie. It is on a graham cracker crust uh, topped with chocolate ganache. It is probably our uh, best seller. As with all our desserts, this is cheesecake made in-house. What we have here is angel hair pasta and our house-made marinara sauce, finished with roasted portobellas and sauteed sweet red peppers. This is our signature lunch dish. It is a rosa served on bread that we baked in the house. It is Roma tomatoes, white cheddar, finished with a dark balsamic vinaigrette, and house-made black bean soup. This is our signature steak. It's a skirt steak grilled, topped with fried onions and Worcestershire butter. And today we're serving it with sauteed spinach and uh, hop and wine. Um, just to check out Two Dog, the food's great, the service is great, and it's just very, it's always consistent and it's always a fun place to come. I hope you enjoyed your two dog restaurant experience up here in Gainesville, Georgia. Now we're headed over to Rick's Smoking Pig Barbecue. We're gonna try some of those well-known ribs out. Come to our website and sign up for our free email newsletter and we'll send you a $10 dining certificate good at over 35 restaurants all around Atlanta. We're at Rick's Smoking Pig Barbecue in Gainesville, Georgia, just off John Morrow Parkway. Any place that has a portrait of a couple of pigs in it is my kind of barbecue place. Let's go inside and see what all the chatter's about. I'm Rick. Welcome to Rick's Smoking Pig Barbecue. Come on in. The food is wonderful. Ever since Richard's been open, we've been coming up here about every week, and it never fails to be wonderful. This is what makes the meat taste good. We 
We use air dried hickory. We try to have our hickory air dried for at least a year before we use it for smoking. This is a piece of hickory that we've had for over a year. This is our rib tip plate with french fries and Texas toast. This is our loaded baked potato, fully loaded with uh, three ounces of pulled pork on top of it. This is our beef brisket plate with our world's famous Brunswick stew and coleslaw. This is our spare rib plate with our homemade chili and coleslaw. This is our pulled chicken plate with our baked beans and our mac and cheese. This is our pulled smoked sausage that is handmade here in the restaurant, our Brunswick stew and our baked beans. This is our hand pulled pork, french fries with our magic dust on it and coleslaw. This is a sampling of our uh, homemade desserts, uh, apple nut bread pudding and banana pudding with uh, wafered uh, vanilla wafers on top of it. Well, I've got all my barbecue buddies with me and we've consumed massive amounts of barbecue, drank a lot of nice tea. We're gonna have some bread pudding, some banana pudding, otherwise known as nana pudding, at Rick's Smoking Pig Barbecue, John Morrow Boulevard in Gainesville, and I'll see you here. Please tell our restaurants you saw them on TV. We're at Locos Pub and Grill on Sugarloaf Parkway in Lawrenceville. It's family trivia night. Come join us. Hey guys, welcome to Locos Grill and Pub in Lawrenceville. I'm Charlie Hamilton, the owner here. Y'all come on in. got a great menu, uh, a lot of different things, and everybody's happy when we come here. I absolutely love the club sandwich, but everything's good. Ooh, the fried pickles are really good. Fun, friendly, and it's just a great place to be. Come to our website and sign up for our free email newsletter and we'll send you a $10 dining certificate good at over 35 restaurants all around Atlanta. Hey everybody, I'm at Uncle Matteo's Pizza Joint in Toco Plaza over here off the Druid Hills Road with my daughter Christiana. We're going to try some lunch and we're going to show you all about Uncle Matteo's Pizza Joint.
Come to our website and sign up for our free email newsletter, and we'll send you a $10 dining certificate good at over 35 restaurants all around Atlanta. Hey everybody, we're at Mincy's Frozen Yogurt over on Toco Plaza. They've got locations all over Atlanta. The one at Toco Plaza just happens to be kosher. Come on in, we're gonna see what it's all about. Please tell our restaurants you saw them on TV. Hey everybody, Joe Somerville here with another great restaurant to discover. It's Giovanna's Italian Kitchen. Let's go inside, meet Kim, our waitress, and try some grouper Milano. Follow me. Hi, welcome to Giovanna's Italian Kitchen. I'm Kim and I will be your server today. Giovanna's Italian Kitchen is open for lunch and dinner daily, located on Virginia Avenue. It has facilities for catering, both on-site and off-site. Some of the specialties at Giovanna's Italian Kitchen are veal marsala, veal piccata, veal parmesan, chicken piccata, chicken sambocca, chicken marsala, chicken parmesan, and of course, eggplant parmesan. Giovanna's Italian Kitchen has a full bar and an extensive wine selection. Stop by on your way to or from the Atlanta airport and I assure you, you're gonna enjoy your meal. And Kim is gonna put some Parmesan on my grouper Milano. And I'm a Parmesan kind of guy. Please, okay. please. Grouper Milano at Giovanna's Italian Kitchen. Come by, check it out. I assure you, you're gonna enjoy your meal. I'll be seeing you at Giovanna's Italian Kitchen at 1375 Virginia Avenue, East Point, Georgia. I'll see you there. Come to our website and sign up for our free email newsletter and we'll send you a $10 dining certificate good at over 35 restaurants all around Atlanta. Hey Atlanta, Joe Somerville. I'm at Johnny's Hideaway, dancing, dining, and cocktails in Buckhead. They do serve lunch and dinner, but Johnny's Hideaway is most well known for its late night atmosphere. Come on inside, let's check it out. Johnny's Hideaway has happy hour Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. till 7 p.m. with hot hors d'oeuvres. Wednesdays is lady night, 7 p.m. until. Saturday, enjoy a sports afternoon with complimentary hot dogs, 12 p.m. until. On Sundays from 6 p.m. till 7 p.m., Johnny's Hideaway features a complimentary pasta dinner.
Okay, well, we've made it to Johnny's Hideaway. They do serve lunch and dinner and late night. Uh, it's quite an interesting place. It's a landmark in Buckhead. It's perhaps the best dance club you've ever been to. And I guess the most important thing to know is that it's a very eclectic crowd. There are young people, there are older people, there are middle people, and uh, everybody's having fun. And that's a neat thing. And every once in a while, you might see Elvis pass through here. So come on down to Buckhead and check out Johnny's Hideaway. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please tell our restaurants you saw them on TV. Hey Atlanta, Joe Somerville. I'm here with Josh Alterman. He's the manager at the Horseradish Grill in Buckhead across from the tennis courts. We're going to be showing you a segment we shot a couple of years ago that we liked so much we want to show it again. Meanwhile, Josh is going to be telling us how we can stay informed about what's going on and all the happenings at the Horseradish Grill. Hey, this is Josh Alterman, manager at Horseradish Grill. He's here to inform y'all that if you want to stay tuned with what's going on over here at the grill, feel free to follow us on Twitter at Horseradish ATL or on Facebook at Horseradish Grill. We also have a great website, www.horseradishgrill.com, where you can join our newsletter and find out about our current events like wine dinners, charity events, charity auctions, and also cooking classes. So we look forward to seeing you soon and have a great day. Hey everybody, we're in Buckhead at the Horseradish Grill across from Chastain Park. Home of some new southern cuisine. They are open for lunch and dinner and also serve a wonderful Sunday brunch. Let's go inside and see what the proprietor, Steve Alterman, has cooked up for us. Talk to me a little bit about what makes horseradish grill horseradish grill. Uh, there's two essential ingredients. One, of course, is the cuisine. People don't realize that Southern cuisine is the oldest of American cooking traditions. It's an amalgam of African American, Native American, and European influences, and it's been around for hundreds of years. It makes horseradish grill really special. The fact that we are, are a regional restaurant, our cuisine is regional, means that we're of the season, in the season, of locally produced product to the extent that we can make that happen. And uh, fortunately, we've got a wonderful chef who understands it and embraces it and, and uh, uh, brings beautiful, delicious food to the, our guest table. This is our lemon chest pie, very light filling on a cookie crust. This is our Kentucky oatmeal spice cake. Uh, it has a little bit of coconut on top of the cake and it's topped with our house-made caramel ice cream. This is Horseradish Grill's chocolate cake, uh, made with a little bit of sour cream and topped with a coffee ganache. Uh, food is first class, service is first class, uh, great atmosphere, um, good opportunity to spend time with family and, and friends and uh, just love the restaurant. Uh, the food is just, it's just delicious. It's fresh. It's always good. I've never even had a uh, mediocre meal here. It's always been uh, way, way above par. This is our honey fried quail served with arugula, grilled plums and buttermilk dipping sauce. These are our vine ripened sliced tomatoes, organic, sliced Vidalia onions, avocado, lemon thyme vinaigrette, and a drizzle of balsamic vinegar. This is potato crusted grouper over black eyed pea succotash with crab meat and a lemon butter sauce. This is our hickory wood grilled trout topped with a little garlic aioli served with garlic green beans and mashed potatoes. I love horseradish because the food is fabulous. <laughs> the company's great. It's a beautiful atmosphere. Well, Horseradish Grill is unique in that we're a southern restaurant. Chef-driven, owner-operated restaurant. You can't get this kind of food elsewhere, uh, anywhere, let alone in Atlanta. Um, we're also mindful of the fact that people go out to eat every day, and uh, the fact that they've chosen us is something that we appreciate very much. And 
and uh, we're mindful of the fact also that we created Horseradish Grill as a neighborhood restaurant. We just remember the neighborhood that we're in. So we're inviting folks to come visit with us, celebrate with us, enjoy our southern repast. The Horseradish Grill is famous for its new southern cuisine, and one of their specialties is the okra. Now there's not many restaurants where you can go out back to the garden and find the vegetables they're serving on the plate. Horseradish Grill, across from Chastain Park in Buckhead. Can't be beat. If someone is nervous about going to the dentist, how do you approach that and make them feel more comfortable? You're right, it can be really a, a trying experience for a lot of people. And so the first thing that we do is, is we want to acknowledge that and we want to make sure and try and take care of the patient, treat them as, as people and not just teeth. And one of the things that we do often is we use sedation dentistry uh, where people can take a, a simple pill and that will help calm and relax them and we're able to do uh, quite a bit of dentistry and a very comfortable relaxed manner and uh, people just can't believe how easy it is. Some people are afraid to go to the dentist because they think it's going to hurt. Um, what technological advances have been made to make the experience more pleasant? Well we have a, a number of tools that we use now that, that make it much more comfortable for people to come in such as the digital x-rays. They're much faster. The, uh, the sensor is more comfortable for the majority of people and uh, we have that ranging from there to a cavity detecting laser that we actually shine on the tooth to tell if there's a, a cavity or um, a, a bad spot in the tooth. And we also use uh, uh, you know, things like uh, headphones or music for the patient to listen to, a uh, warm towel after they're finished, just things like that to kind of make it easier for them. How do you go out of your way to make a patient feel special? Well, I think we have a great team. And they, they do go out of their way just to make people feel comfortable and relaxed. You know, if they have a concern, they can talk with us about that. Uh, we also have like the little thick cushion that goes in the chair um, to make people more comfortable. Um, we offer nitrous oxide in addition to our sedation uh, for people that maybe are just a little bit scared. And our team particularly is, is attuned to that and, and talking with patients and making them feel at ease so that we have just a, a comfortable, relaxed environment, atmosphere for them. Now some people don't like smiling because they feel like they don't have pretty teeth. Is there some way to make them feel better about their smile? Uh, you know, Stacy, that's one of the most rewarding things that we do is actually change people's smiles or, or make them happy with their appearance. Uh, it's, it's really great when we have somebody say, hey, you've, you've changed my life or, um, you know, gosh, you're my prince. And you know, those are actually comments we've had. That makes us all feel great. Or you know, just yesterday, a lady brought us a pie. And that's one of the greatest compliments I think we can get. If someone wants a wider smile, why is now a good time to come see you? Well, right now we're participating in the Smiles for Life charity. And we will take an impression of your teeth, give you a bleaching tray, you put that in, write us a check, and that goes to charity. You get a tax deduction, you get a brighter smile, and you help to brighten a child's future. How do you stay up to date on all the latest techniques? Well, of course, Stacy, there's always, you know, reading in journals and keeping up that way. Um, I network with a lot of dentists all over the country. 
um, with, through email and, and through meetings of that sort and really learn a lot uh, sharing with, with each other. And I'm kind of a CE junkie. Or can, you know, I really enjoy going to courses and learning uh, about new techniques, way to provide things, you know, really so we can uh, provide the best we can for our patients. If someone hasn't been to the dentist in a long time, is it too late for them to have healthy teeth? No, it's not too late. With today's dentistry, uh, there are a number of things that we can do to help improve a patient's health, person smile, make them feel good about themselves. We don't talk down to people. We're not going to make you feel embarrassed. So we just, you know, want to take care of people, get them healthy. If someone is having a toothache, can they just kind of wait and see, or should they come see you? Yes, it could be something, you know, very simple, or it could be something serious. Either way, um, you know, a toothache is not always going to be the indication that there's a problem. Um, so we always recommend that you come see us on a regular basis. How does an unhealthy mouth lead to an unhealthy body? Well, an unhealthy mouth, we're finding more and more connections between that and, and diseases of the body. Things such as uh, heart disease, low birth weight babies, uh, diabetes. They're, they're all have been shown to be a connection between these and gum disease. So if you have one of these concerns or questions about this, uh, just pick up the phone. My staff is available. Give them a call. They'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. What does Applied Images Incorporated mean? It means real people answering the phone. It means real people servicing your business or school. Quick response along with quality production is demanded in our world of business today and no one knows that better than Applied Images Incorporated. After years of working with graphic artists, marketing managers, public relations departments, architects and engineers, we have developed an extensive experience in our trade that is second to none. We excel in our knowledge of graphics and printing, signs, banners, posters, brochures, training manuals, for schools and businesses. And now, custom t-shirt printing is available. You must see our line of t-shirt designs. What does Applied Images Incorporated mean? It means quick response, quality production, and real people answering the phone. Churches, businesses, schools, picnics, trade show displays. Call us today for any printing or graphics needs that you may have. Applied Images Incorporated at Gainesville White Print, 312 Bradford Street in Gainesville, 770-534-2086. Mountain View Auto Repair is your local full-service auto repair shop. Trusted with your vehicles for over 20 years, our experience will ensure that your vehicle will stay well-maintained year-round. Mountain View Auto Repair is the place to bring your vehicle. They'll always treat you right, the service is good, and the prices are very reasonable. You can trust our experts in everything from transmissions to brakes to engine repairs and oil changes. If you don't need the repairs, Danny's going to tell you. He does what he says he's going to do, and he'll make it right every time. He takes patience and explains it so that I can understand. It's very easy for me to talk to Danny about a problem I think I have with my vehicle. Go see Danny at Mountain View Auto Repair. He will treat you right.